This is Northern Portugal in 7th August 2016. And then, one month later, you see the area that burned. And the reason the forest is burning, I'm gonna explain it next. The burned areas are signaled in, in this map. Portugal had um, more than half of the forest burn area in Europe. And I'm gonna show you why. First, they spray metallic nanoparticles from the aircraft doing geoengineering but this crap will stay in the ground and will make the forest burn you really seen from satellite spring right in front of Portugal in your ears look carefully as they will drop incendiary devices right now this fire burned from for four days was in Aroca Aroca since you see seen it was already burning yet they still dropped send your devices right next to it four days of burning They just drop this kind of incendiary devices. We can see the the fires are in straight lines, and since they draw hundreds of fires during the most hot days of the year, they are not enough firemen to extinguish the fires use the uh, when it started massive august 7th you will see the the day after what happened this this is 8 august 2016 there are hundreds of fires burning in the nor in northern portugal And they continue to drop incendiary devices. This is when they, they could not extinguish the fires at night. And you see in the morning uh, lots of fires, hundreds of fires reporting. Thirteen August, it went colder here, and they finally extinguished most of the fires. And now I'm gonna expose the fires that are dropped in the lines. You can see them. I'm gonna show them you them to you. Watch carefully. There's at least three, three lines that are visible. I will only signal two. Here I simulated the incendiary devices being dropped on one of the lines. Here are two of them. The other is down, but I did not signal because it was hard to see on Photoshop. You can only see them with with the movement, and uh, some fires got got uh, extinguished. So that line is not clear, but you can see that it's it's clear. The fires are put from the sea to the continent.
you can see that the all fires are concentrated in northern Portugal so they choose this area to to burn some of the fires in is the area increase Here's the 8th of August, some fires burning already in the morning, but I, could, I wasn't home at, in the afternoon, couldn't keep the images, but there are some images from 8, from a wet and you can see the smoke in CN, light blue. Watch it, there are hundreds of fires burning. And with the heat, they will continue to burn through the night. Uh, most will be extinguished, but there, there will be more fires being, more incendiary devices being dropped the next day. Reads in more detail. 8 August. This is 9. You, know, you can see that fires are burning, but it is after the when the sun starts hitting the train again, it will make the fires hotter and keep uh, burning the the forest there are not not there are not enough firemen for that much fires this is only in, in a district of Aveiro near the fires in Madeira two images from the Mori satellites and the f forest keep burning there it's hot, it's, fires are hard to extinguish and they, they most of uh, it's the fires become too much hot to, to extinguish because a lot of metallic particles that are used also as um, incendiary devices like explosives all of this crap used in geoengineering is is in the ground and will make the forest burn. You know, you can see the distribution of fires. The reds are the ones that are really uh, creating trouble because you have to evacuate the populations near. You, you are not sure you can extinguish the fires and there are not enough means to obviously the means will we move to to protect the populations but you can see that it's fires everywhere smoke everywhere it's too much too much well then uh, colder air started coming from the ocean you can see this aerosol fog coming and smoke everywhere once again there are hundreds of fires burning fourteenth August I only have images from the end of the way you see the smoke, but you can see some smoke here. here. Yeah, you can see the number that fires here, the most big ones. And here in August 20th, they're still dropping incendiary devices. 
now the images from your medsat yeah well you can see for yourself they decided to burn that northern Portugal and it's most of the area and burned in Europe it was in Portugal this year because someone decided to drop incendiary devices everywhere you can see the chemtrails also being dropped in CN over the clouds they're in white and smoke smoke every day for that week well this is a public crime the television's newspapers do not talk about it so they are part of, of uh, hiding the conspiracy they're not explaining anything about what's really happening with the weather and here are some early images from 2010 with fires in, in lines but not straight lines with a, a smaller planes dropping incendiary devices now these, these are the uh, big planes flying very high dropping incendiary devices yet we, we have this forest fire burning business for 30 years or more it's in 2000 and three and uh, most fires are in the center of Portugal you can see that here is post four and yeah we have to keep on explaining what's going on hard to explain these crimes to people it's hard to make something happen about them because most people do not know what to do authorities do not respond to this to these uh, accusations they just keep silent the media keeps us stupid and you can see again the incendiary devices being dropped at the same time almost obviously it's it's a time lapse, so it, happen, it looks like at the same time it's not. So keep on.